Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a 802.11 wireless car hack. This week, a security organization in the UK called Pentest Partners disclosed information on how they hacked the wireless network of a Mitsubishi Outlander hybrid SUV. Now, for the US viewers, this is an SUV that's not yet uh, available in the United States, although it is coming, but it is pretty popular in the UK. Anyways, the Pentest partners talked about an unusual aspect of this car. Unlike most internet connected cars that actually have basically a GSM cell phone built in, this particular car just had a wireless access point. And the mobile application you use to control this car actually has to connect to this wireless AP built into the car itself. And since they had this built in AP, the Pentest partners decided to test it. Long story short, they found a number of issues. First of all, the SSI ID or the wireless network name for each of these cars is pretty predictable. More importantly, the pre-shared key or the PSK for this particular wireless network was very short and not complex. That meant that these researchers could actually crack it very quickly. Just using an off-the-shelf computer with special GPUs, they were able to crack it in four days, and they estimate that a cloud-based system could crack it in one day. Now, once they showed how easy it was to crack this car's wireless network, they could then gain access to the network and man in the middle and monitor all the traffic. And by doing so, they monitored the actual protocol that your mobile application uses to talk to the car. They were easily able to actually deconstruct this protocol, and once they did, just using a normal wireless laptop, they were able to do things like turn the car's lights on and off, uh, turn on the preheating in the car, and worst of all, disable the alarm systems. Now, of course, disabling the alarm system doesn't actually unlock the car. A thief would still have to jimmy the car open or break a window, but by disabling the alarm system, he makes it much easier to do so. And the pen test partners also point out that once you can physically get in the car, you have access to the onboard diagnostic port, which is where you can plug in and get into the the car's network system itself, which could be very dangerous. And as you've been watching, the Pentest partners released a video showing all this stuff. Now, this isn't an overly scary car hack. It's not on the same level as Charlie Miller's car hack, where they were actually able to wirelessly gain control of the car's systems and do things like break the car or turn off its steering or turn off the car itself. This attack is more about making it easier to steal cars. Nonetheless, it is still very concerning. As we add technology to cars, things like wireless access points, the manufacturers really need to start thinking about security. And by the way, it seems that Mitsubishi kind of discounted this hack. When Pentest Partners first approached them and disclosed this, Mitsubishi didn't really respond to it. It wasn't until the researchers actually took the story to BBC that Mitsubishi responded. So if a car manufacturers learn anything from this, it's that they need to start responding to the researchers to show that they're concerned with these vulnerabilities. By the way, if there's any Mitsubishi Outlander owners in the UK, you might want to check out Pentest Partners blog because they give away where you can actually disable this system if you want to protect your car. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.